Dee, a belated Happy happy New Year. How was your Christmas break? Um, Yeah, it was good. I only had a couple of days off. Um, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, then straight back to work. So, but yeah, it was nice to spend time with the family um, for those couple of days. So you signed for Stevenage just before Christmas. How have you settled in so far? Um, really well, I think so far. Um, girls are really nice. Uh, staff are really nice. So um, yeah, I think it's going well to be honest. And for Borough fans who might not be familiar with you, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, yeah, so um, paid for a few clubs, um, not been in the game that long considering how old I am, um, so yeah I've been playing about 10 years really, um, so I play as an attacking player, um, I've played on the wing um, and I've played up top in different, all sorts of different systems, um, so yeah very attacking minded. Um, so before you came here, you were with Harlow Town, but what was it about Stevenage that made you want to join us? Um, there are a few clubs uh, that I was considering, um, but for me personally as a player, I like to be able to commit fully. Um, so yes, Stevenage um, logistically was good for me. I also like the setup that they've got here. Um, I've known about Stevenage for a, a long time. I've played them a few times over the years as well. So I've seen, you know, where they've come from and where they are now. So they're definitely a club that's on the up. They seem like they've got all the foundations in place as well. So, yeah, that's what made my mind up, really. And what do you feel you can bring to this team? Hmm. Um, bit of intensity, I think. Um, before I came here, I knew quite... A few of the players are quite young or younger than, than me. So um, I felt like the team needed a few older heads um, for a bit of experience. And yeah, hopefully, I mean, I'm a talker on the pitch. Don't shut up, probably annoy, annoy them. But um, hopefully I can lead from the front, set an example. And um, just, yeah, just try and get, get the younger players, um, give them a bit of confidence um, and a bit of guidance, really. Um, so Sunday was a big 6-0 win, how would you sum up the performance and how does it feel to reach the final? Yeah, good. Um, I've been involved in a couple of finals over the years, not been in a final for a few years, so it's nice to, to get into another one. Um, yeah, it was a good win, um, second since the turn of the year, which is obviously good, and we scored a few goals as well, so that was really nice. And talking of goals, you got your first goal for the club. Talk yeah, us through it. Long time coming. Um, yeah, basically, when Frenchie gets the ball, I know that it's going to go into the box. So when she gets the ball, I've basically just got to get on my bike and try and get into the box as quickly as possible. And it worked. You know, sometimes you don't make it and sometimes you do. And that time it connected, so it was good. So we've now got a busy run of two games in four days. What are your thoughts on both the Cambridge City and Enfield games? Um, so yeah, they're must-win games. Um, both games, we've we've got to win. Um, really important for us as a club. Um, we are, we've got a fight on our hands anyway this season. So these are two games that we've got to, we've got to get points out of. So. And finally, what are your expectations for the remainder of the season, and what do you hope to achieve? I want to get Stevenage climbing up the table. Um, I want to be able to help and contribute to that as much as possible, whether that's um, assisting or scoring goals myself. Um, I've got defensive duty to do as well with the position that I'm playing in, which is fine. But yeah, just need to get some points to the board and, and not get relegated is the main aim.